Hey everyone, I am back from the dispensary. Um, I just made a video and then accidentally deleted it, so I'm starting all over. I got uh, Cresco cookies. Cresco uh, cookies is a hybrid. Uh, Cresco cookies is just the brand name for Girl Scout cookies, which is like one of the most popular strains in all of America. Um, this is at 20%. Uh, it's good for depression uh, and anxiety, but it's, it's also a recreational strain, I'll admit. It's available recreationally. Um, and it's it's a strain that everybody likes. I was thrilled to see that this was thirty five dollars. Um, so it's seven half gram pre rolls. Normally I pour it into a bowl. I sparked this one up because it's been a crazy day. I've been chased by gang members today. One of them was even bold enough to get out of his car and act like he was going to get in my face. And then a car with federal plates went by. He went back into his car and left. This was at the chiropractor chiropractic office <clears throat> by the gas land with no gas. It was a um, car full of African-American tattoo necks. <clears throat> and then when I got to the gas land with no gas to use the ATM, a tattoo neck woman <clears throat> came in and said to the clerk, you must be near here. I live next door. And that's just how she said it. You must be near here. And then there was a car full of killer lesbians that I know from Mary's, uh, the most hateful lesbian variety available. And uh, believe me, any LGBT knows that the lesbians are the, the scariest, most evil species uh, of the LGBT mafia around. I'm not saying all lesbians are scary. I'm saying the Mary's lesbians are scary. Um, it's over the top. Uh, you know, the Papadopoulos, the, uh, the Helpadopoulos, cannot, is not made of money. I am applying for disability. I'm going to see Valerie, my therapist. The Helpadopoulos is going to help me. <clears throat> and then I'll be seeing a psychiatrist. And I'm going to get disability for my PTSD. And it, it'll be a good check because I made a lot of money in corporate America. I'm going to be living pretty good. Um, and I can have a dog and maybe a husband or a wife. So um, things are looking up. I know that the town is going to continue to harass me, make my life a living hell. No, I'm not going to let some Democrat or anybody get my house for 83.9. I'm taking it off the market. But I did, did tell Kyle when he called today, let's just put it on hold for right now because I've been so screwed over. I cannot trust anybody. Nobody. Devin, who used to work at NTI and who now works at uh, GTI, <laughs> the, the cultivator that makes Brownie Scout here in Rock Island, he said, it's you against the world. It is. Oh, it is. Because people are either afraid to help me or maybe they work for a filthy. I do think that once a major filthy is locked up, then I probably will get some money into my tip jar. You know, A, I'm not asking for a handout. I don't get paid for these blogs. Look, I have made this community a much better place. In the end, it's a way better place. I am extremely proud of myself as a journalist, as a human being, and I'm sorry to upset all of you as a Christian. Yes, I'm a Christian. If it wasn't for God, I would not have made it to this point. So I thank God. I thank the people who are helping me. And I just pray that uh, the community gets some peace, that we lock up the filthies, and um, that those are, that are involved in street-level organized crime see that um, they're being used as pawns by sick, filthy business people and politicians. And once they figure it out, they may very well turn against the business people and the politicians. Hey, I managed to pull off a stunt like this in Glendale, telling the truth and getting people turned on the wacky politicians. I might just very well do it again. Glendale's a much bigger city than this. Have a good evening.